All right, we got the rookie quarterback battle between the uh, Los Angeles Chargers and the Miami Dolphins. We could see Justin Herbert versus Tua Tunga Vailoa. I'm excited about this game, guys. Now, historically, the Dolphins have this weird thing where they always beat the Chargers, and we could see that definitely happen again. But I'm pretty excited to see Herbert and Tua sling it out. I'm hoping for a higher scoring game, although the Dolphins defense has been surging. They've been getting better each week, shutting down Jared Goff two weeks ago. And while Kyler Murray had a good fantasy day, the Cardinals offense definitely struggled against the Dolphins last week. So Dolphins surging at just the right time here, getting hot for the playoffs, still trying to stay in contention for the potential to win the AFC East. They're nipping at the heels of the Buffalo Bills. Pretty interesting stuff going on in Miami. So pretty excited about this game. 48 point over under, so not expected to be super high scoring. I think the Dolphins defense is the key perpetrator of bringing that over under down. But look for this game to end up being a higher scoring game anyway, because Justin Herbert has been too good to slow down. Dolphins are favored to win this one by one and a half points. Pretty close margins there. Chargers defense has been bad against everything except for wide receivers, whereas the Dolphins over the past five weeks has been surging across the board. So we got to keep that in mind. Uh, that being said, though, it's pretty much impossible to recommend benching Herbert at this point. He's been able to uh, surmount every single obstacle thrown his way for fantasy purposes. We're going to keep playing him until he gives us a reason not to. Uh, same thing with Keenan Allen, one of the better receivers and is a every week start. Mike Williams, uh, definitely a little bit sketchier of a start, especially if they end up uh, you know, making sure that he's not able to get over, over the top and getting the, any of those deep throws, but he's been being used enough. He is very boom bust. Got to keep that in mind. If you are playing him, expect the worst and hope for the best. Uh, but I do think he's good enough to consider starting this week. And then Hunter Henry has been a disappointment, but we're still hoping for that breakout game eventually. Maybe we're beating our uh, beating a dead horse here, but I think you can keep playing Hunter Henry. He's still getting enough targets, and eventually that breakout game should happen for him. Uh, not playing any running backs here. With Justin Jackson and Austin Eckler out this week, the Dolphins' uh, run defense has been imp steadily improving over the past couple weeks. Tremaine Pope, Josh Kelly, no, 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 don't, no thank you. Not looking to play either of those guys here. On the Dolphins' side, I think you can play Tua. Uh, he looked really good last week against the Cardinals. Chargers giving up a ton of points to fantasy quarterbacks. If you need a stream, Tua is a good stream this week. Devontae Parker's the only real receiver I trust here. The same problem we're having with the run game on the Miami Dolphins side. We've got Miles Gaskin out. Uh, Matt Burita, questionable, but I don't think he plays. So we're looking at uh, Salvan Ahmed and Jordan Howard here. I just don't want to touch the run game uh, in Miami. This is all about Tua time. Tua is going to end up possibly leading the day for the Dolphins on the ground. Uh, now, Jakeem Grant is a name that's possibly interesting here with Preston Williams going on IR. Look for him to potentially be more involved. Am I comfortable enough starting him this week? Not unless I have to, uh, but he could end up being a uh, sneaky surprise here. So if you need or are just looking for a wide receiver to stow on your bench that could end up having a pretty good day, uh, go throw Graham on the back of your bench there. Mike Gusecki with uh, Preston Williams now hurt as well. You got to hope that maybe they'll finally use him, but it's been so long since he's had a good fantasy day. Really hard to trust him, so probably not even on your team at this point. But uh, if you have him and you're in desperate need, I think you could could throw him in there based on who else you'd be starting him over. Uh, that's pretty much it. I think the Dolphins win this one, but it should be a pretty fun game. Dolphins winning 27-24 in my eyes.